Tuesday. We're going to start out today with some snatch work. Ideally, these are going to be full snatches, starting on the ground, catching in a full overhead squat. But as always, work with what you got, okay? Your coach will help you out if your mobility is a little limited. Maybe you work on that power snatch, work your way down in that overhead squat, or maybe you do some cleans. I don't know. Do what you can. Talk to your coach, okay? But if you're going to snatch, it looks like this. We have a wide grip on the bar. If you are standing it up all the way, the bar would be in your hip crease with the shoulders back, okay? That's a good way to decide how wide your hands should be. We're gonna start with that weight on the ground or at mid chin. We're gonna get a patient pull to the knee, pull it all the way into the hips, pull yourself under the bar, and then stand up all the way. So whenever we're doing a squat snatch or full snatch, whatever you wanna call it, as you extend the ankles, knees, hips, you shrug, and get that high pull. This is as high as the bar is supposed to get. From there, it's your job to pull yourself under the bar into that full overhead squat. So we're up, we pull, and then we drop to catch in that overhead squat position. So full rep, one more time, starting on the ground, patient. Fast, drop, and stand it up all the way. Okay? Ta-da! Once we're done with our snatches, we're gonna do some conditioning that includes running, burpees over your dumbbell, and dumbbell snatches, okay? So you're gonna run, run, run. You're gonna do some burpees over your dumbbell. These are gonna be lateral, so you get to stay low and jump side to side. Lay all the way down on the ground, jump up. Do your best to jump with both feet over the dumbbell, okay? Try to avoid this little hop or jumping behind, okay? We wanna see you jump with two feet all the way over. You can do it, all right? And then you're gonna do some dumbbell snatches. So for the snatch, the dumbbell starts between your feet, back is nice and flat, other arm is free. So try your best not to push off your opposite leg. You're gonna jump it up, just like you're zipping up your jacket. Keep the dumbbell nice and close, alternate hands, kiss the ground with the weight, jump it right back up, okay? We're gonna finish out today with some posterior chain work. You're gonna do some Nordics. We have a bench that inclines that you can work the hamstrings, hook your feet into it, lower yourself down, pull yourself back up with your hamstrings, and you can change the elevation of that bench based on your scale level with this movement, okay? So play around with that one. There is a bench at both locations, so your coach will help you find it. After that, we're gonna do some uh, bench reverse back extensions, um, AKA reverse hypers on the bench. You're gonna start with your hip crease on the edge of the bench, give it a nice hug, tuck your knees in, then you're gonna kick out until your body's parallel to the ground. Tuck in the knees in, kick out. Tuck in, kick out, okay? After that, we're gonna do some back extensions on the GHG machine. This one you're gonna lie face down, okay? Hips on the edge of the pad. The goal is to roll down one vertebrae at a time and then roll back up. So really working that spine through range of motion, all right? You got it. 